Hello, everybody. It's time for science. We're going to do a lab today. Your learning target is I can make a graph to show the temperature at which water freezes. And you're thinking to yourself, boy, can't we just put water in the freezer to make it freeze? The answer is yes. But wouldn't it be more fun if we didn't need a freezer? And if you do this lab carefully and follow the directions, you should be able to do it. Um, first thing, I went outside. It's cold out. I got a bunch of snow. You're going to get a plastic cup and you're going to fill it up about half full with snow. Get a lot of snow in there. Nice and cold. Fresh snow from outside. There it is. The next thing you're going to do is we have jars of salt. And if you add salt to ice or snow, we lower the temperature of it. So you're going to want to take about three heaping spoonfuls. So you have a heaping spoonful and pour it right in onto your snow. Three heaping spoonfuls should be enough. Take your stirring popsicle stick of science and really mix it in. Really mix it up. Okay, so you've mixed in your salt. Next, get a plastic vial and fill it up just the bottom with water. You don't want too much water. The more water you have in there, the harder it is to make it freeze. So place that right into the middle of your cup. Surround it with the snow mixed with salt. Place it right in the middle. Then take your metal back thermometer and place it in the cup so you can read the thermometer through the clear part of the cup. And then take your glass thermometer and place it right into the vial. At this point you want to set it on your lab station and you don't want to move it. If you move the thermometers or move the system, it will impede, it will make it so the bonds between the water molecules won't form as fast. So you don't want to touch it. However, once you have your lab set up, like you see, you want to begin to keep time using your timer. So you can start your timer at zero, record the time zero, record the starting temperature of the water temperature, and record the starting temperature of the ice bath, which is the snow, and record your observations. Um, make sure you're keeping track every minute, record the next minute, record the temperatures. If you can not touch the system and move everything around, there is a chance that the water inside your vial will develop bonds due to the loss of kinetic energy and you will have ice that you made without using a freezer. After you make your ice and you've recorded all of your data points for water temperature, you can move on to page 98 where you see this graph where you graph the temperature and the time. You're going to need two different markings, one to show the ice bath temperature and one to show the water temperature. If you finish the graph on page 98, you can move to page 99 and answer the questions.